She didn't vote for Brexit, but on a rapid tour of Britain, starting in a Scottish textile factory, the Prime Minister urged the country to embrace the idea of leaving the EU. I believe that we can negotiate a good uh, agreement which is tariff-free and as frictionless trade as possible, so we maintain those markets in the EU, but also that we open up markets around the rest of the world. Brexit provides us with opportunities. But who's this? Campaigning against Brexit outside Downing Street? Boris Johnson. Or maybe not. But his impersonator and these protesters believe Brexit can be stopped with a second referendum on the final deal from the negotiations between Britain and the EU. Will, a student, speaking for a generation that voted overwhelmingly to stay in Europe. This is the wrong direction for their future. So are perfectly entitled to mobilise and try and persuade our parents and grandparents, many of whom, like mine, voted Brexit but are just not sure anymore that this is not the right deal and not the right direction for our future. But are the older generation persuadable? I travelled from London to the English market town of Spalding, where 70% voted to leave the EU. The challenge for those trying to stop Brexit is to change people's minds in towns like Spalding. And that still feels like an uphill struggle. So there's a majority you can't go against that. I don't think you can anyway. We've said what we want, so let's get on with it. But back in London, not much sign of rallying round. Another anti-Brexit group sets off on a battle bus tour round Britain, supported by some big names in British politics. I accept that whatever happens now, in terms of any effort to to stop it or to take it to a different course from the one that people think they voted for. I accept that's very difficult, but I think millions of people believe the country's made a terrible mistake and that this just can't, can't, this is unsustainable. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister, travelling on through Northern Ireland, Wales and England in one hectic day, says there's no turning back. But if the Brexit referendum of 2016 was meant to settle the issue of Britain and Europe for once and for all, well, it doesn't yet feel that it has. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, London.